What up YouTube, it's your boy Detroit Love with another video. Today we're going to take a look at the Rad Runner by Rad Par Bikes. bike up there in the city my buddy Damon riding a lot of noise back there all that noise is no gears got this controller With four levels of pet uh, pedal assist So what do I think about the Rad Power Rad Runner? The Rad Runner by Rad Power Bikes. It's a it's definitely a different type of bike. You know, it has a much thicker frame, you know, because it's a cargo bike and it's built to carry a passenger, you know, it's a it's a very solid bike all around it rides you know very well it has the same motor and battery as my rats my uh, rat city but it's the size wise is much smaller than the rat city I would say that's got some type of activity going on where is that like a uh, army transport helicopter kind of fitting uh, based on the color of this this bike here look like it's something out of the uh, army so it comes equipped with the front light now this is, works a little different than on the Rad City it has this off on switch here so the controls you have a, a light button here so if you press that the lights on it means that the front lights on and the rear light is on and the rear light has this the button somewhere on here if I can find it that allows you to press was so on this side that allows you to press it to have it flash so you can have that light flash, flutter. So flash and pulse. Now I don't think this, well this is just solid. It looks, on the camera, it looks like it's pulsating. But it's either solid or flashing. Okay? So you have that option. And then obviously when you press the brakes, you're going to have that light up. So you can have this light turned on and but then have the front light turned off. So I don't have the front on, but I can have the light the back on if I want that lit up. So that's different than the Rat City. So the controls are considerably different than on my Rad City. It has the battery, battery indicator. You have your pedal assist levels. And it only has four levels. Zero means off. And when you're on four, trying to pedal with this, this bike, you know, and I think with all the bikes, once you're on that, when you're at the top level, you might as well be using the throttle. Uh, 
but it you know it rides well it's just it's just a different bike with these smaller fat wheels low profile uh you know, I, I can't say whether I like it or dislike it. It's, you know, it's a fun bike to ride, no doubt about that. It's just, it's just not for me. It's, this is my brother's bike. He bought it and had it delivered here so I can put it together for him. And then uh, I'll deliver it to him in the morning. But you see the kickstand. The kickstand uh, is sort of like a mo motorcycle uh, kickstand. And when it's on the kickstand the rear wheel is completely off the ground completely off the ground when it's back and and that kickstand while a lot of people complain about not liking it you just have to put your foot on it and then just push the for the bike forward to get it out you know it's just different but what what it's for is be is for balance and then likewise you put your foot down here and then just pull the bike backwards and I think what people don't like is you're going to hear all that scraping if you're on concrete or, or whatever, concrete. Um, but it's for this, this passenger or carrier, if you have a basket full of groceries or whatever you have on it, a, a normal bike, when you put it on the kickstand, it's going to lean to one side and your cargo could shift. With this kickstand, it keeps the bike upright when you're on the kickstand the bike is completely upright wheels off the ground so it's a different it's a different type of bike you know for a different you know rider than just a standard bike rider um the seat gotta talk about this um it's it's a weird shaped seat because it would match up with the passenger seating if you chose to do that but very few riders would i'm five seven and you see where i have the bike see that so that's not a normal size way down there at all um that seat is just not comfortable there's no if ands about uh, buts about it but my bike my seat i got the cloud nine you know, it's not very comfortable at times as well. So, you know, seats are one of those things that until you find the one that's the right size for your rear end, it's not going to be very comfortable. But that's just an odd, that's just an odd she, uh, seat. I would have rather they had a regular seat. I'm sorry, didn't have it in the shot. I would rather them have a regular seat on this and then if you bought the passenger package even if it was another 40 bucks I'd rather get this seat and that seat together as a package with the foot pegs and wheel guards whatever comes with it I would rather that be one package and then you give me a better comfortable seat on this bike to begin with that's my personal preference because that is not that is not cool um, at all so, um, so what else you get a lot of chain rattle I don't know if that's going to work itself out as you as you go when you're at certain speeds whatever that chain will bounce around and hit the um, the bar here somewhere and you hear a lot of rattle sometimes um, Tires are pretty nice. I uh, I I did about 21 miles yesterday, on every terrain that you can possibly do <laughs> in a 21 mile ride. The bike wasn't fully charged. It was probably four bars when I took off yesterday uh, because I did I didn't charge it before I when uh, you know once I put it together. And the the number one was blinking when I got home and rolled around even some more. So I think I probably did probably 25 miles or so and that light was blinking towards the end. I didn't let it run all the way out. Um, so, you know, you can't say what range you'll get because uh, sometimes I was riding on zero, not a whole lot, just to test it out. Sometimes I was, you know, just doing full throttle. Other times 
a throttle to get up hills. Now this bike doesn't have a um, gear shift. Got your two brakes here, that's it. Two brakes, you got your controls. We just talked about the, uh, the battery, the pass, uh, pedal assist, but I didn't mention that you got the plus and minus to step through. And when you're at the top, you gotta go down. And it looks like it has a walking mode. Let's test it out, see if I don't break my camera or this bike with these, because these things are normally pretty crazy. Uh, so you, you press and hold this, and that's, it gives you in a jogging mode. So it, it's the same jog mode that um, is on my city. It's way too fast to be practical for most applications. Now, if I had this bike with a whole lot of groceries on it, I had a basket on the back and a basket on the front and it was, you know, filled up and I just wanted to walk the bike, you know, to uh, a different location, it would probably make sense to use that walk mode. But absent that, that walk mode is way too fast. Way too fast. Uh, so I'm not sure what, I'm seeing some string there. So assembly was pretty simple. I just had to put the handlebar bracket on. Now he's probably gonna have to change this. I don't know what his arm length, where he's gonna want that. You had, I had to put the seat on, I believe, and the front wheel. So the front wheel you had to put on, and it was, I don't know, for some reason, it wasn't so clear to me when I, uh, they had caps or something on here, so I was kind of lost for a second and didn't look like these, this uh, bar was used on here, but clearly it was because um, they use this bar to secure the bike and shipping has like a little stand, which with my bike and this bike, that stand did not, uh, was broke up upon arrival. So the stand was pretty useless as far as for propping it up for me setting it up. But I'm a, I guess it did whatever it needs to do for the trip here uh, via FedEx. Um, but I got to put the wheel on, put the pedals on, and the handlebar. And, and the seat may have already been on. Um, so I think it was just the pedals. Oh, the pedals, the front wheel, the, the front light, and the handlebars is all you had to put on. So. And all the tools that you needed for everything was included except for the tool for the pedals. All right, so so the plan is to put this on my um, Hollywood rack tomorrow and deliver this to him in the morning on my way to work. Uh, I, I'm definitely going to recommend that he get a different seat. And I gave him my old giant bike that had a well, softer seats. Uh, so if he still has that, I recommend he put that on here. Just pull this whole seat off and put the other one on. It would probably be the best thing uh, because after 21 miles yesterday, I was not enjoying that seat whatsoever. Uh, but the bike handled well. I uh, My buddy was on my Rad City and... You know, most of the time I was blasting past him, even though my Rad City is, I did the modification that allows it to go 24.8 or 24.9 miles per hour. This one doesn't have that option, um, but he was just, that was his first time riding an electric bike, so he wasn't uh, really pushing it. Um, but there was times when he was ahead of me and I just couldn't catch up with him um, at the speed he was going. Um, but for the most part, had no problem with this bike at all. Towards the end, when the battery started to get low, definitely had less power. Uh, you may or may not be aware with electric bikes, this gauge for battery doesn't represent... Um, what's the best way to put it? This, this gauge represents power. So the... You have four bars or five bars here. You're going to have full power available to this bike. The lower this this uh, 
uh, battery indicator gets, the less power that you have. So it's unlike an uh, automobile where if you had a full tank of gas and, you know, uh, a fifth of a uh, tank of gas, you can do the same speed and the same, you know, you can do all the same functions until that gas is completely gone. That's not the same with the electric bike. When you have less power, you have less performance. Uh, and so your mileage, you know, while I may be able to do 20, 20 miles per hour up here, I may only get 18 or 17 miles per hour max speed when it gets lower. You know, those are just guesses, but it, it works to that degree. Um, but, you know, it's a, it's a different looking bike. That, that's all I can say. Um, it's much smaller than the Rad City with those smaller wheels so so it's lower to the ground lower center of gravity <coughs> you definitely can turn you know real easy and in, in tight quarters with this little bike uh because of those little tires um but me and my buddy went the same distance um both our batteries were at the same level coming back and and my battery wasn't fully charged either um we pushed it using all different, you know, uh, levels of assist, you know, points in time when it was just full throttle. Um, I definitely don't like this. I'm going to turn this off. Um, so you got your power switch here to turn it off. Oh, you just press it. You know how to hold it. Um, you have this throttle that you turn with your hand like this. And you can use your thumb to a degree. I'm sitting here. I could just rotate that with my thumb um, but I like the the add-on that I have my bike that allows uh, it gives your thumb something to connect to and then you can just rotate it it's much better than doing this you're not gonna do that much longer much long for long uh, periods of time like that but with this bike you can easily just turn that with your thumb and hold that like that uh, well, there's nothing else to say about this bike. Would I recommend it? I mean, I, I like Rad Power Bikes. They have different bikes for different purposes. If if you're going to be carrying people and you don't want that big wagon, you get, you want a smaller bike uh, that can carry a full passenger, whether they're an, an adult or a kid, or you're going to be having a large cargo with, you know, real heavy uh, things on the back this is definitely the bike for you you know my bike has a capacity of i think 40 pounds where this has a couple of hundred pounds you know so that's a totally different thing this 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 frame is thick all the way around every aspect of it is super thick look at look how thick wide that is you know um can't even get my finger all the way around this portion of it you know on my hand around it and i got some pretty big hands um it's a it's a solid tank <laughs> uh i hope my brother's not watching this but i uh was riding and they had those big giant um cones not the little small cones it's like the the three foot or four foot tall 36 inches however tall those cones are uh and i wasn't paying attention i, I was because this his bike doesn't have mirrors i have mirrors on my bike so i was looking back to make sure there's no cars come back and i just plowed over one of those tall cones and those cones are pretty thick um and it just plowed over that thing like it wasn't uh anything <laughs> i just rolled on top of it i mean i hit it dead on front and it just crumbled up and it just rolled over that thing uh like it was nobody's business um so i i rolled this through dirt road i rode it through gravel i rode it through water i rode it through you know, on regular paved streets and paths and everything across grass up and down hills um there was there was no no terrain that this thing had any problem with you know so uh there was no no problem going over any any terrain that that we came across in the 21 miles. So, um, 
you you just have to consider what 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 you want from a bike because the the issue with rad power bikes is you can't just go into a toy uh, into a bike shop and test drive one of these um that's just not possible so you know it's kind of limited on, on your exposure so i'm trying to give you as much information about it as possible you see they got this wrapped here so your wires aren't uh you know hanging and dangling everywhere um solid bike got the red power bikes uh emblem on the front is green uh, you know i'm not a fan of this color i would have gotten black if i was going to choose this bike but my brother definitely likes things different this bike is probably going to be a different color in a few months he's probably going to paint it and and glue things on it and and have a milk crate on the back here he bought the fenders but they're going to come here on thursday today's tuesday he don't want to wait for me to put them on um and so i'm gonna deliver the bike without them and then i'll eventually get them to him um because he was he was saying he didn't realize that this rack was on there and that he's going to have a some type of box or container on the back anyway and that would block any water getting pushed up to him um he wasn't so concerned about the front tires uh kicking up much um he was more concerned with the back uh, but i think it was like 109 dollars or so uh, by the time you pay for with tax and shipping uh, for him not to use it i think would be crazy but uh, as long as he gives me the money i pay for them uh, i don't really care if he puts them on or not but if he does put them on or if he wants me to come by and put them on, I'll definitely come do that. Because I debated whether to put this thing together because you would have to take this wheel off. And these wheels are, uh, you know, a little different to take off because you're going to have this bolt here. You're going to have these uh, screws and they're like different on both sides. You got these um, tie downs for some of the cabling on, that, on this side, I believe. Um, you got this derailleur to deal with, you know. Um, you know, so it's it's a it's a little bit of work. You gotta take off these brackets. You know, what I mean, it's just it's not a simple task. I've only had to do it with, once with my bike. Um, and then these uh the other thing he has to contend with my brother, yeah. He doesn't like to be part of the, the system, you know. So um, he likes to do things his way. And these tires, that's my only concern, is these tires aren't standard tires. These are made uh, for RAD power bikes. This is called the K-RAD uh, 30 TPI. And this is not a standard size tire or width. So uh, I'm, I'm assuming he's only going to be able to get some replacement inner tubes from RAD. So I'll have to look into that for him and I may have to buy some for him or, you know, have him use his credit card and ship them to my house and then I get them to him. Um, and so he can have some stocked up, but I just gotta, he's just gotta make sure he has the right tools, which uh, I'm assuming the tools that came with the bike will allow you to take that rear wheel, wheel off. It's, I've only had to do it once with my bike and I don't really recall. Um, you know, it wasn't a big deal. It's just the bike. The, the the wheel is considerably heavier than a standard bike tire because you got that motor on the back, um, Buffane motor. Um, but it does have two plate mounting points where you can put a either a lock holder here and a, a, maybe a bottle holder here or a pump or something like that. So you got those two mounting points there. Uh, it does say that it's a class two, and I don't see that anywhere on my bike. My bike did not have um, those uh, that sticker on it. So this one shows it goes 20 miles per hour, class two, 750 watt motor. You see the light as he's braking.
I mean, it's definitely a different looking bike. You know, it's, it's, not, a, it's not a standard bike at all. The look of it. What do you think about it? Cool. Is it faster than yours? No. This, they have the same battery, same motor. It's just a different shape, different. It feels di yeah, it just feels different. It's just a different nice. bike. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Ba same battery, so it'll last the same amount of time? Yes. Yeah. And you get, it's got those smaller tires, so that's a different, totally different feel. It does feel a little different. You know. They're smaller, but way wider. Why? Right, right. So it actually has a nice, and you go across the. Oh, you can uh, probably go through, like, grass and everything. Yeah, and go, go up, like, a curve or something. You know, we don't have really big curves here. But you don't really feel a whole lot. That seat. And it's right up it too. Yeah. Watch this car come here. But yeah, it's uh, and that seat's kind of weird shape. But uh, I feel like yours is more comfortable though. Yeah, I mean that seat yeah. for sure is yeah. just weird. And then you probably would need it to be up a little higher, yeah. uh, for sure. But all of these electric bikes, they all have noise. They make noise. They make. They're they're not. They're obvious to the train ear or that they're not a regular bike, even if you don't notice the motor. You hear it. Listen to this. I mean, uh, these, these fat wheels make their own noise. I would say that pedal assist number two seems to be the the right amount of uh, what's that? Woo! Hmm. Goodness, that's horrible. All right, so I just put this seat, this uh, the stock seat from my Rad City, on this uh, Rad Runner. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't know. I can't say it feels any better. Could be just because my butt is wore out from that other seat, but it doesn't feel any more comfortable, to be honest with you. So maybe just all rad power seats suck. Uh, rad power bike seats, uh, because this is not considerably com more comfortable, or even. So I put it on, you know, this Velo plush seat, which definitely has a different shape than the stock Rad City or Rad Runner seat, but I don't know. Could be I don't have it positioned properly to be comfortable. Maybe I need to put this front down, but I'll give this to my brother because I don't use it and see if he likes one or the other. But just riding now, it's not all that better. So you see with the headlight on, it's pretty bright. Uh, and see, you can position it. So I have it positioned so you can see the road. actually darker than what this video appears to be.
be. Well, ran into a little snag here with this rat runner. It, it doesn't like uh, my Hollywood e-bike wreck. The tires are too fat. And the post, it's not gonna go that far down with my bike in the back, so. Let's see if I can, oh, these things are heavy, right? Swap these two around. It's gonna be a pain in the butt because then I gotta take my bike off again when I get to my brother's house. Uh, here we go. I can strap those wheels in possibly, but as long as it's braced, you know, this bar is so far down so that that pole has to go all the way down to secure that. Um, but just so you know, if you're looking to get a rat runner, uh, you are gonna have some challenges with bike wrecks, even those made for e-bikes. All right, so can get both of them on, but again, with the strap issue, so it'll fit with some challenges for certain.